Hi guys. Hi guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video planned. It's a new series that we want to try on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more focused on trying new things outside of what we stock um, so that we can be reconnected back to the community and trying new things together again. So we're basically going to be going to other beauty retailers and buying their best-selling products, mm -hmm. trying them out for mm -hmm. ourselves and letting you guys know what we think about them. Yeah, and whether they're worth your very precious pennies. Mm -hmm. Within this series, what we're going to do is buy these best-seller products and then we're going to try them for... Four weeks? Four weeks? weeks, yeah, for a whole month. And then we'll let you know after the full month what our first impressions or opinions of the products are. So we decided the first one, of course, we had to go to Mecca. Mecca. The one and only Mecca. Yeah. I'm sure everyone knows what Mecca is. But if you don't. Oh yeah. <laughs> but in in the rare case that you don't know <laughs> yeah. what Mecca is. They're like the Australian Sephora pretty much. They are well known in Australia as probably one of the top beauty stores mm -hmm. and they stock pretty much almost everything. everything. I think their newest launch was Charlotte Tilbury which we're super excited that it's there. Mm -hmm. So the way we're going to do this is one product from each beauty category. Mm -hmm. So one product from skincare, makeup, hair care, body care. And fragrance. And fragrance. Yep. So if you're interested, strap in. Grab, grab yourself a cup of tea. And, and keep, keep watching. watching. It's a very hot day today, so that's why it's a... Uh, Invisible tea. DIY. Alright, first product on the list is the skincare bestseller, which is Makers to Save Face FPF SPF 50 Plus. Okay, got our skin product. Next is uh, makeup. Best selling makeup product is Charlotte Tilbury Skin Foundation, which is quite new. No wonder it's a bestseller at the moment. Okay, look, they don't have it in store at the moment. I feel like you can only get it online, so. Beautiful skin? Yeah. Yeah, see with the other? Oh. Never mind, it's over there. So it looks like I'm a six neutral. Oh no, no sorry. No, seven. I'm a six neutral. I'm a seven neutral, which is almost gone. I feel like this shirt is quite popular. And Estee is a six neutral. The formula, just trying it already, is really nice. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It's really it like really nice. moisturizing. But still so much coverage. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. Next is hair, which their best seller is Olplex number three, and it looks like it, they don't have it in store and you can only buy it online. So that's what we'll have to do. Um, now we'll do best selling body, which is uh, also there's Save Face, to Save Face, right? SP50. Yes. Yeah. Which obviously we've already done for skincare. So let's skip that and we'll go to the next best selling product, which is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Yeah, I think I saw it And surprisingly, that product is also their best-selling fragrance category. Well, so, you might as well, do you know what I mean? It's like a yeah. body, body cream, so the scent yeah. is going to... So we'll uh, rate it on how it goes in terms of fragrance as well. I think we've got everything now. Right, what we're going to do is get minis of yeah. everything. We, I think that's better. We found a different idea because Originally, we were going to split it and put it like in a separate jar, but now we've got sets of two. We've got cute little minis, so we can have one each to try over yeah. the few weeks. Okay, now that we're away from all that chaos in the store, we're back home now so we can go through them and see what the benefits are and why they're so highly rated or one of the top sellers. Mm -hmm. So let's go through them now. Can I just say how beautiful 
the packaging is. I would just go in and be like, can I buy your packaging? <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's open her up. First and foremost, Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have seen this all over TikTok, all over Instagram. It's just booming online at the moment. 4.6 average star rating and yeah. 107 reviews online. To be completely honest, I haven't heard of this product yet. Okay. <laughs> even though it's been on TikTok, it actually hasn't even crossed my uh, feed. feed at all. Okay. So it's actually quite new to me. I only just saw it today. So key benefits that it has on the website here. It is a vegan product with a natural finish, also a dewy finish, has medium coverage and is long wearing. Ooh. Which when we swatched in store, you <clears throat> could tell that the coverage is quite decent. Yeah. It's not like yeah. a sheer tinty moisturizer sort of situation. Yeah. It is it got pretty decent coverage on it. So there is a huge shade range. 30 shades available. With most of the shades, each of them is categorized by a number. Most of them would have the three different undertones. Mm -hmm. So the cool, neutral, and warm. Yep. Which is great. I think that mm -hmm. would cater to a lot of skin types. If you're not a fan of silicones, which I don't really care about, but if you prefer not to have silicones in your everyday routine, then you probably won't reach out for this because it's got quite a bit of it. Um, but it's got hyaluronic acid, and I think hyaluronic acid in Foundations are now super common. Yeah. But yeah, the texture is... It was super velvety, I think. Yeah. And maybe it's due to the silicones, but it just felt super smooth and it, yeah. it had good slip. Yeah, you know? that's, yeah. It glided really nicely. Yeah. And Libby said that um, she didn't see any streaks, even just by no. using your finger to blend that in. No streaks. It was really weird. I think the theme overall here is just plump and juicy skin. It sounds yeah. like. Everything is just like promoting your skin and just enhancing the plumpness of your skin. Yeah, I think it's a like a hybrid, like a foundation, but it's also got your skin benefits. Heaps of skin benefits. Next category is skincare. Mm -hmm. Their best seller is from their own signature line. So the Mecca Cosmetica to save face, broad spectrum, UVA, UVB, sunscreen, SPF 50 plus. Oxybenzone fruit. Key benefits straight from the website is cruelty free matte finish, Sun protection, obviously, sulfate free and alcohol free. It's so cute. The mini size is quite cute. What is this? 30 grams. A matte, non greasy finish, which I like in sunscreens. Or if I do wear a dewy sunscreen, I want it to be like matte by the time it dries down, sort of thing. I don't like a dewy one throughout the whole day. And apparently, it was designed with makeup wearers in mind, so it should sit really well under makeup. Next category the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream which I think um, is quite popular. A lot of people would know about this one. I personally haven't tried it before. Mm -hmm. This is going to sound terrible, but I also have not heard of this before. Oh my God. <laughs> like you'd think that if I'm so into the beauty space, I would know this. But, she but I've, just, I've just been so stuck into loving the products that we have already that it's just, it's taken, it's been a while since I've explored other things. You're quite loyal, doll. This one apparently smells amazing. It's really well known for its fragrance. What oh my is God, the can fragrance? we smell it now? Yeah, let's smell it now. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Oh, it smells like Glasshouse Taha. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Oh my God. It's like a yeah. vanilla caramel. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's look let's... at the top notes. Look, I don't know my sense. Jesus Christ. You would think that if I worked at Aesop, I would know the top notes and the body notes and the... No. The body notes. <laughs> but it's called a bum bum cream, but you can basically use it anywhere on your body. Okay. The scent is very strong. So if you don't like scenty things, you may not like this. It is very strong. Scented with Sol de Janeiro's Addictive Cherosa 62 fragrance. So apparently maybe that's their signature fragrance. Packed with notes of pistachio, salted caramel, and vanilla. I knew oh, it. Right. I said caramel and vanilla. And here I was saying it was citrusy. Yeah, what the fuck? I was like, give me vanilla. Taha. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite a um, rich, sweet smell. Yeah. It's not very fresh at all. So it's got caffeine rich guarana in here, which visibly smooths and tightens uh, your skin, I guess, to make it more plump. Mm -hmm. Whilst acai and Brazil nut oils prevent environmental damage, protect the skin, and give it the healthiest of glows. So you're meant to see a really nice, healthy glow after using this. Yeah. Caffeine is well known for, like, skin firming. Now, for fragrance, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream came up as the best-selling fragrance. Yeah. So there's a, lot of, yeah, there's a lot of cross 
contamination here. Contamination. I'm surprised that this came up as a best-selling fragrance. Yeah. So I guess people, it's probably strong enough for people to pop on and walk around like they yeah. have a fragrance on. Yeah. Or maybe it's people that have used this and have been complimented and been like, wow, you smell. What are you wearing? Sweet. The last category is hair care, mm -hmm. which their best selling hair care product is Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately they don't sell Olaplex products in store. You have to buy them online. So that's what we'll do. Yeah. Um, I don't think either of us have the three. I think I might have the three. After you said perfecto, I'm like, yeah. Uh, okay, maybe check. That's the one. I think I have it already. If it is the one, I've already been using it and I have actually featured it in another video in my nighttime routine and I love that product. Okay, well it, then I can do a first impression. Yeah. So those are the four products that we chose for the five categories of yep. beauty from Mecca. Mm -hmm. We will go and test them for a month-ish and then come back and let you know our final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, it's been five weeks mm -hmm. since we have used, I can't believe it's been five weeks. It's, it's gone really quick. I feel like we only just got the products yesterday. Mm -hmm. But five weeks we've been trying all of those products out and testing them out and we're here to give you our final thoughts. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Mm -hmm. How'd you go? I love that product. It is really nice and the finish is nice and dewy. Well, that is dewy. Look, looking in the camera, I like that it gives that really nice dew. It does look like second skin rather than a foundation. Look, it's not going to look like it's your skin. It's still... It's How do I explain like this? It, it is still a foundation, obviously, and you yeah. can still see it on your skin, but it's much smoother I, than yeah. other foundations I've tried so far. I can't explain it. It's just so smooth and it yeah. has this really nice blurring effect. Correct. That's the word blurry. Yeah. I mean, it's quite flawless, she is. Yeah, she's very smooth. It does have that very second skin kind of look to it. Like, I don't look cakey at all. I must say it's very similar to the finish of the CCC cream. And it's kind of glowy as well. Oh, see? Can you see how the light hits the high point? It's like they've put illuminator in here or something. How I like to see whether a foundation is really good is when I look at the mirror um, in the car when you... What are these <laughs> called? The mirror in the car? <laughs> the flap mirror. Sun, sun what is mirror. <laughs> the sun the mirror. Oh, for fuck's sake. The mirror for the sun cover. The mirror on the passenger side. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so when I have a look at myself in that mirror, my skin looks really nice. And that's how you tell. Yeah. I don't care what the mirror tells me, those makeup mirrors. I don't care what they say to me. As long as the car mirror tells me I look good, I know I look good. Yeah, okay. That was my test and my skin looks very nice. My test when I'm using foundations is coverage. I have a few friends here, as you can tell. So that will be my biggest test to see if it covers them. Because I have ah. so much pigmentation, it has to have good coverage. Yeah. I think it's more medium coverage. How much yeah? do you have to use? I have to use about one and a half, yeah. almost two pumps. Same. Okay, so that was one pump, which I feel like isn't enough for my whole face. That was a very thin layer of it, which has definitely evened out my skin tone, but I do want a little bit more under my eyes, maybe just a little bit on my forehead to even it all out. You can still see a little bit of redness come through from my breakouts, but that's pretty normal. Like that would be pretty hard to cover with just a layer of foundation. Okay, One yeah. and a half is pretty good. Yeah, it's super buildable to be the coverage that you want. I think I really needed that second layer. See, it's covered the breakouts a lot better. Not obviously the texture, but the redness at least has gone down significantly. Okay, so that was two pumps and I think it is much better. Personally, I think it has great coverage. Medium mm -hmm. coverage, easily buildable, but just sits very nice. I love it. Yeah. That's all I've been using for the past five weeks. Oh, wrong. Right. I haven't touched any of my other foundations or yeah. hardly. But this, I just like, I can't stop reaching for it. Yeah. When you blend it out, there's no streak marks. It's yeah. just like, 
it just sits so nicely. I don't know what it is. I usually have to go in with a beauty blender or the brush again to kind of pat down any streak marks that foundations usually leave behind. But this had zero streaks. I think that's what is the biggest difference in this one compared to other foundations that I use. The other thing I did want to note is because I do have dry skin, some days I do have dry patches on my skin. Mm. I find that it doesn't cling onto the dry skin as much. And it's still like when I look at the mirror in the car, my skin still looks really nice and smooth. So I guess that's my way of evaluating. Is my skin flawless? Mm. Yes? Great. <laughs> yep, that's Perfect. my criteria. The one thing I will say, and I've heard someone else say this, is it, it accentuates your pores. This side I've powdered down with translucent setting powder, so pretty much all over this side. And then this side I've left without powder at all. I just want to see how it holds up throughout the day and if there's any creasing. It's been three hours of me wearing this. The side that I haven't powdered, you can tell is obviously more dewy. This side, in this area in particular has held up pretty well because that's obviously where I powdered and you can see here it's a bit shiny and I think my pores are a bit more visible on this side than here so the powder has significantly helped it stay matte that's the one thing I, it's a tiny thing because yeah I mean I guess it's unavoidable for most foundations you yeah. always need to powder if you want a flawless finish you have to powder yeah that's only one tiny thing I would mm -hmm. point out but other than that I love it love it yeah. love it Obviously the whole time I was doing this little experiment, I was of course in the back of my mind always thinking about my beloved CCC cream. And, <laughs> and how you were cheating on the CCC cream. Okay, fine. I still love the CCC cream. Yeah. I still feel like the CCC cream is more skin-like yeah, than this. Yeah, I agree. Obviously the CCC cream has the SPF 50. The reason why I would reach out more towards the Charlotte Tilbury one is because it's already a perfect match to my skin. The color match is pretty much perfect. Whereas the CCC cream, I still have to mix it. So I really, really hope they come out with more colors. I think they are. Oh, she told me, so okay. stay tuned. Okay. Okay, second product, skincare one was the Mecca Cosmetica to Save Face Sunscreen. Mm -hmm. You, I feel like you've tried that before. I've tried this one before and I did really like it. It was probably the first sunscreen that I used that wasn't like that heavy supermarket type sunscreen. And then I got introduced to the Hawaiian Tropical one. Yeah. So I think those two are quite comparable. I think that the um, Hawaiian Tropical is a little bit lighter in consistency. Really? Yeah. Than this to say face. Okay, I love the to say face. Ooh, it's got like a nudish tint color to it. I expected it to be white, but it is a nude color. Mm. It's got a light fragrance. Ooh, rubs in really quick. It feels like it just feels like a moisturizer. No, I love it too. But that one's a. Uh, $30 plus and it the is. Hawaiian's about eight bucks. It is very bougie, which makes me a little bit sad because I would use this on the daily and I have been, like I was telling you, my, mm -hmm. my one's gone. Yeah. So I think I would repurchase that one. I really like it because it's light and when I wore it underneath makeup, it was so nice. Oh, okay. And at least it's not a dewy finish yeah, compared to the dewy. Hawaiian yeah. Tropic, mm -hmm. which is probably why you like the Hawaiian yeah. Tropic. For me, it's very natural and satin. I'm like, perfect. I don't have to look like an oil slick throughout the yeah. day, which is why I think I really like it. Yeah. I really like that. It doesn't have a white cast, so I'm not sitting there rubbing for ages. A really light florally scent, which isn't too overpowering. Yeah, the finish is quite matte. There's no shine or like oiliness or greasiness to it or whatsoever. It's just super satiny. I feel like the sil silicone-y. It's a bit silicone-y. I can tell when something has silicones in it. It's just got this really nice powdery, silky feel. It is really nice. Like the first time I tried it prior to trying any of the sunscreens, it was probably my favorite sunscreen mm. up until I used the Hawaiian one, yeah. which I was like sort of evaluating the price and like the skin feel. And Especially with your skin type, you might as yeah. well go for the cheaper one. Yeah, Especially and also because it's something that you use every day, mm -hmm. you know, you want to be cost effective at the same time. You're right. But I, I yet still haven't come across a really nice satin natural finish sunscreen in the affordable price range, which is why mm -hmm. I like you the face. So yeah. until then, I think I'm probably going to use this one. Unless anyone has any recommendations for lips, 
Leave them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. A nice affordable satin sunscreen. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> so, bum bum cream. We evaluated both the scent and the skin feel on our body. I love that cream. Love. Oh like, my god. I can't tell you how much I, I think, love it. I think we need to get the full size. I need to get the full size. It is so... Like, we did the it first is... impressions at the start of this video where we smelt it. It's It comes off very strong. Yeah, which I thought initially I didn't think I would like because yeah. it was so strong. Mm -hmm. But then, like, after wearing it and then sort of... I can still smell it yeah. to the end of the day and then also getting compliments about it. I'm like, okay... <laughs> You almost don't need to wear a fragrance. Yeah, you don't. Because it doubles up. Like, it's such a streamlined product. Like, I love multifunctional products. Like, yeah. I just love using one thing for everything. And this is fragrance and body care. I don't have to worry about either or. It's a genius product. You know what? Oh I think God, it would be really so good. good when you're traveling so you don't have to pack a heavy fragrance and a yeah. heavy body lotion. You've just got that one and it does mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. I do have a tip. This is another tip that's the cost effective. <laughs> <We're spent> but like, <laughs> I like to use it in the morning because it doubles up as a fragrance. At night time, I don't care what I smell like. <laughs> so I will use a cheap as body moisturizer. Mm. But in the mornings, like I can't not go without it now. I feel like I need that fragrance sort of lingering. And you can't go wrong with the vanilla caramel scent oh, as it's well. Oh, so good. It's really sweet. Yeah. But I like it. I like how it's not feminine either. Yeah. Do you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not like lolly sweet and yeah, like, it's not floral and sweet. And not florally. It's not, yeah. Yeah, it's just a nice kind of sweet. Like, I, Z could use it and I'd still be like, oh, you smell nice. Yeah, I think it's a unisex. Yeah. Skin feel wise, very. Oh. Oh my god, I was so surprised with the skin feel. Like, to me, looking in the jar, it looks really it looks thick. thick. Yeah, yeah, like a thick butter almost. But when you pick it up, you're like, oh, it's very light. Very light and it absorbs really quickly. Yeah. Like you don't feel like your clothes stick to it no. when you need to get changed or something. Oh, it feels so nice. It's very it spreads light. really nicely, absorbs really nicely. Mm -hmm. If you haven't tried it, please do yourself a favor and try it. If it's gonna be your first bougie body care, I reckon I've converted yeah. after this one. <laughs> I never cared about body care moisturizers very much until this until I, I tried this and now I kind of want to try all the other body cares to see if it matches <laughs> so the product does claim to help with cellulite stretch marks for me it's not something that I looked out for it was just to moisturize my body but also for that fragrance that added fragrance so I can't tell you whether it reduced cellulite or stretch marks neither so, I didn't really pay attention to that as well yeah um, but it is a firming lotion, right? It is a firming lotion, yeah. 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 But for us, personally, that's not yeah. a like, priority skincare concern. Yeah. So that's why we didn't really speak much on that. So. so if you're wanting to know what the firming and cellulite reducing properties, this is not the video for you. This is the wrong channel. <laughs> this is the wrong video. To be honest, it's not an insecurity of mine, but I don't want it to become an oh, insecurity. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've already got enough insecurities. <laughs> Added cellulite and stretch marks, Enough, please. Enough. Last product, hair care category, Olaplex number three. I I told you, I had this sitting on the shelf the whole time and I yeah. bloody didn't even know. I had this in my bathroom cupboard and I just had never used it. So I had this whole time, guys. I'm sorry. There was no need for us to go and buy one. Estee already had one. I already had mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I liked it. I, okay. I can't tell you I'm head over heels for it or, um. you know, it's amazing. But for me, it's a whole process. So I'm lightly shampooed it towel dried it then i need to go in with this and apply it all over and then leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes and then rinse it out again with more shampoo and conditioner as you would normally wash your hair on a hair washing day it's not meant to be treated like a leave-in treatment or a leave-in conditioner it is just a treatment it clearly says on the label here as well use before shampooing it is not in caps a conditioner it is a bond builder it's a very, like, if you have time at home, maybe on a yeah. nice Sunday, you got a cup of tea, whatever, I think it's perfect. Yeah. But if you're, you know, sharing before work or whatever and you need to go, yeah, you then can't use that. Yeah, you yeah. need to have time to yeah. allow for this process, to do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> and you also sort of even need time for the ingredients in the product to do its thing. So it, you're definitely right. It's a process. I get you. Yeah. I get it's you. A, it's a lot of washing. It's a lot of washing. You know, so. But my hair. But the, oh, but the results. 
but yeah. the results. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like I can do one of those Pantene commercials. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that my hair is like nicely waving. The results the are worth it. Like yes. if you have the time and the patience, it is 100% worth yes. it. I, like to me, when I washed my hair, did the whole process and then I blow dried it, I was like, is that really, like my hair feels the same? As you can see, my hair dries very buffy, like frizzy. I reckon it usually gets more buffier than this. So I think the Olaplex number three has actually reduced like the frizziness and the buffiness in my hair. I actually don't think this is intended for like shine in your hair. It is just literally for repairing and strengthening your hair strands because it is a bond builder. So I think it has actually ticked the boxes in that sense where my hair does feel like more healthy and strong, but in terms of shine, not so much. To be completely honest with you, it's not anything groundbreaking. Like I'm not like, wow, my hair feels amazing. It's a bit harder to tell whether it's done anything because again, its purpose is to repair and strengthen your hair. And I find that that's more difficult to see results than if it were shiny hair. But then I ran the straightener through it. I was like, maybe that'll help. And oh my God, it was so smooth. See, yeah. I can speak more on the results now, now that I've had a chance to style my hair. Wow, 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 wow. I can really feel how smooth my hair is now after styling it, especially when I was running the straightener through my hair, it felt like a knife through butter. It was just so smooth. You know how sometimes when you straighten your hair, you get that dry, resistance. This was just like so smooth. Still nothing in the shine department, unfortunately. Not much shine going on. I might you have to use another product on top of this to really get the shininess, but smoothness is chef's kiss. So blow drying it by itself, I was just like, okay, because I blow dried it like whatever. I didn't yeah. like use a rolly brush and then do it yeah. like that. I think you needed a bit of tension to just smooth, smooth everything in cuticles. and then when you did it you're just like oh my god so i definitely saw the results after straightening for me i definitely found softness in my hair softness yeah yeah like my hair feels really soft after using it and also obviously brushing it and all that stuff it just felt much smoother like mm -hmm. it feels like silk when you kind of go through your yeah. hair but i also Okay, to be honest, I haven't used that many hair care products in terms of like the more premium hair cares. This is sort of the first one that was really premium to me. So it felt nice mm. compared to the supermarket conditions that I've been using for years. I'm sure it's um, 10 times the price. <laughs> yeah, so it does feel 10 times better. Yeah. But maybe there is other ones out there that you guys think could work a little bit better. Please I share. I've used um, Goldwell Kerasil. That one is quite nice and you don't have to do that whole rinsing process. Oh, so that is in the shower. It is, yeah. So, I mean, if you want to cut down the process, I'm sure there could be other products out there that are like a dupe mm -hmm. or very close to the Olaplex, but I know that Olaplex is like up there. It's premium, premium. Okay. So a lot of people use it um, and they use it in salons as well. Yeah, I, I actually really like, like that's probably the first hair care product not that I'm talking from massive experience, but it's probably the first one where I could really say my hair felt really soft and healthy. Mm. So what was your favorite then? I'm gonna say the sunscreen. Oh, okay. I was tossing up between the sunscreen or the foundation. I tried to pick out like what I didn't like about both. And for me, the Charlotte Tilbury, the thing with the pores that you see at the end of the day got to me. So I was like, ah. I have nothing bad to say about the sunscreen. So I think I like the sunscreen the most. Yeah. They yeah. come very close. I love them both. Like, yeah. obviously I'm using this foundation right now, but the sunscreen I also use every day as well and I have nothing bad to say about it. Okay. And I love the natural satin finish and it doesn't leave Okay, oil. right. Okay. <laughs> and under makeup. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I well, would... everyone get the sunscreen now. <laughs> I think for me, it has to be the bum bum cream. Yeah. I think because I, I initially didn't think I'd like it. I was like, yeah, uh, this is just another body bougie cream, like whatever. Like I'm just gonna fall back to my Vaseline body lotion. <laughs> but this is like, I genuinely am considering, and I'm a cheapo, like I'm not even gonna lie. Once I finish the mini size, yeah. I'm definitely gonna get the big size because I'm almost justifying it. Like I'm like, but it's also perfume, but also it does my firming. It is even though it, didn't, it, was, it was never a thing, but I'm like, it's firming my body. <laughs> and it's a moisturizer and it feels so good. You know what? I actually really like 
all of them. Yeah. Like, I now get why they were bestsellers. Yeah. Like, I get it now. I'm so glad we did this experiment because yeah. we've discovered newbies yeah. that we, like, we are going to repurchase. Yeah, exactly. Be before this experiment, I would never think to buy a, how much was the bum bum cream? It was like $50 or something. Yeah. And I was like, $50? <laughs> Please, I could get a nice meal with that. Same with the sunscreen. I'm like, I'm paying that for, I'm buying Sun Genies that calls for $7. Neck minute. What makes you I think? I quite like the sun. I think I'm going to repurchase that. What have we do? we've turned? Oh, this experiment has turned us into bougie, bougie bitches. <laughs> no, but I honestly trust that community because what we got was obviously inspired by you guys, mm -hmm. and we loved it. You know, I would say that my favorite was the bum bum cream because it took me by surprise. Yeah, I'm surprised that you ended up liking yeah. that one. I feel like you would like the foundation the most, but I guess not. I do like the foundation, but. It's because there's also the Sissy C cream. Yes. And I think that if I was without the foundation, I would still be okay. Mm. I wouldn't be okay without the Bum Bum cream. Oh, okay. Please. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. And if there's any other products that you think we should try from Mecca, let us know. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film and hopefully we can do a part two. Like this video if you guys want a part two. I mean, we're just doing the top rated products. If there are any products that you think that are underrated, that Ooh, we should try. That's a good one. That would be a good one. Ones that people don't know about that are yeah. worth mentioning, then we are 100% open to try. Yeah. The next video to this series is going to be top rated or best sellers from Adore Beauty. We're gonna pick one from each category like we did for Mecca, and we're gonna do the same thing. Yay. I love discovering new products and justifying by it's for work. Yeah. <laughs> Chug it on the work card. Chug no? it on the work card. All right, well, we'll leave this here. Have a nice week, and we shall see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.